Hi friends, and welcome back to another video. For today's video, I want to do a fall look for you guys because I think that this makeup look is very fallish. <laughs> That's not even a word. It's perfect for fall and I love the colors and I I just want to film a tutorial. Let's jump into the tutorial. Okay, so first I'm going to use my Aroma Water from Lush as a toner and just spray it all over my face like that. I like to grab a paper or whatever and just, yeah, dry that for like a little while. Next, I use Celestial, Celesti, Celestial, Celestial, but however you say it, from Lush as a moisturizer. I like to like let the moisturizer kind of like set into my skin, you know, really get into my big pores. Wet my two beauty blenders. Okay, so I have the Morphe beauty blender, which is not clean. None of my brushes are clean. My life is not clean. And then I have my Real Techniques beauty blender. This one I use for foundation and this one I use to bake. Oh, you guys are gonna see right now. Okay, so I'm gonna go wet these and I'll be right back. After moisturizer, after I damp my beauty blenders, I like to put on primer, and my primer at the moment is by Benefit, the professional. Clip my hair back. I have another mirror over here, so if you like see me like looking at me here, like, okay, don't. Right now, I'm currently using the Bobbi Brown Foundation in the Skin Long Wear Weightless Full Cover Oil Free Shine Control because I'm very oily, like on my nose, in the shade Warm Beige. I'm just gonna shake that up, put a little bit right here. Get my Morphe Beauty Blender. Gucci gang, Gucci gang, Gucci gang, Gucci gang, Gucci gang. It in. It's funny because I'm deciding to do a makeup tutorial when my skin isn't the best right now. See, I just found out that I am allergic. I need to keep doing this. That I am allergic to ragweed. It's like a plant or something here in Texas, and I broke out in hives the other night. Actually, these past two nights. It wasn't fun. My lips feel so chapped. I forgot to put a like chapstick on my lips last night. My skin last night was super, super itchy. Couldn't even scratch it because it's not good for your skin, especially not my face. So I was just laying in bed until 4 a.m. in pain. It wasn't fun. I like fall time. I like going out in the mornings and having a nice walk and do stuff, but Apparently on the website because I like dug into research last night Sorry for like <sighs> I need to figure out the lighting in my house in my life. I'm sorry, but bear with me Okay, hold on. I'm like jumping into different places. Sorry. That's me you can't go out from like 5 a.m To 10 a.m. And then another website said like from like 10 a.m. To 2 p.m So I really don't know. I mean I can go out but they would like recommend for me not to just because that's when the ragweed is the most like active or whatever. And it started in October and let's just say it's not the best. Um, I don't know. It's just, it sucks. It, okay, my skin looks fine. Oh. I'm gonna have to wash my beauty blender. I do wash my stuff. I just, I haven't yet because I haven't had time. So right now I'm using the Maybelline Instant Age Rewinder in the color Classic Ivory. I know I should be using a lighter concealer under my eyes and stuff, but um, I'm saving money right now and this is the only one that's like I could find. And I, I don't even think it's mine. And I'm just gonna put that under my eyes because I stayed up until 4 a.m. Not doing anything, literally just like laying down in bed and just thinking like, when am I gonna fall asleep? And then I'm just gonna put that on like, you know, the imperfect spots on my face, which is like everything again. I like to go in with my Real Techniques brush, the sculpting brush. I like to just drag it a little, like blend it more into my neck, just because I really don't want to make it seem like I am wearing foundation, even though everybody knows I'm wearing foundation, but it's like, you know. Oh, I'm not wearing foundation, stop. My skin is just this perfect, just, you know, drink water, like, You'll be fine. 
Okay, I've tried like hiding this pimple and I just can't. Nobody's perfect. I'm going to bake. All right, so I like to use a Laura Mercier and like just like a little bit, just like, you know, tap a little bit on the lid. My secret. Um, I like to use a luxury baking powder by Revolution. Tap it, oh God, okay, went everywhere. With the Laura Mercier, let's put that all right here. I like to mix these two just because it, I feel like for my skin it looks better. And then with my damp Rel Techniques with this side of the sponge, I like to go in just like that and just go under my eye. Start baking all over my nose. And I just close my eyes because it, it like falls everywhere. I look so good right now and honestly, I just like to kind of like cake my whole entire face because I am an oily girl. I don't want to be an oily girl. I want to be a matte girl. So next I'm going to go in with my Anastasia. Well, I have this one because okay, for my Anastasia Brow Wiz, the brush part fell. So I'm using my other one to just like brush out my eyebrows. So yeah, I'm just gonna brush those out real quick. And then in the shade medium brown, I'm going to fill in my eyebrows. And like every beauty guru out there, I'm going to do them off camera. Sorry, I just wanna be a part of the team. After I draw my eyebrows in, I'm going to go back with the um, brush and brush them out. And I like to make them look as natural as possible, even though you're probably like, in real life, you're probably like, what? And like, they, they look super drawn in. Okay, eyebrows done. Oh my God. There's like banana powder all over my shirt. <sighs> Next, I'm going to go in with my NYX Professional Eyeshadow Base. I'm just gonna dip that in there. It's kind of like, it's creamy. And then I just like to tap the excess off on my hand like that. And then just put that all over my lid. I'm literally gonna look so scary right now. And you guys know what like eyeshadow base is, right? Like it's just to like help like set the eyeshadow. Okay. Now I'm gonna go in with my Tarte eyeshadow palette. And it has like a little bit of like contour stuff too. It's dirty, I'm sorry. So I'm gonna go in with the color Solstice. It's just a white color with the same brush. Go over the white eyeshadow or the, the white base. Uh, just to help set everything in. I really hope you guys can see like well because I feel like all the shadows are like not helping it. I'm sorry. I don't have anywhere else to film at the moment. Sorry. So now that I'm done with that, I'm gonna go in with my Real Techniques Deluxe Crease Brush. Today we're gonna be using the Jaclyn Hill palette. I bought it at Ulta. It's actually really freaking good. And I'm gonna be going in with the color Creamsicle. And I'm gonna take a little bit of that. And then just go into the crease. Start going into the crease. Just like that. Honestly, that's such a beautiful yellow. Like, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. With the same brush. I'm also gonna buy more brushes because it, this is not cute. I'm going to go in with the color Pukey. This one, <laughs> I guess it looks like puke. Girl, Jacqueline White. Before this video, honestly, I'm not I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I never looked at the names. I just kind of like looked at the, you know, the colors and I'd be like, okay, this one's good for like the crease. This one's good for like, you know, like the outer corner. Like this one's good for, you know, I just wouldn't look at the names. And now that I'm looking at it, Jacqueline, like, you're never gonna see this, it's fine. But why would you name it Pukey? Like, girl, like, it doesn't wanna make me put it on the eyes now. But it's still, I'm still going to because it, it looks nice. But I'm going to put that on the outer corner of my eyes. Yeah. It's like another, like, yellowish, but it's like darker in the crease. I forgot to say at the beginning of the video, but I'm not a beauty guru, I'm not professional. This. I love makeup. I play with makeup all the time. Um, but if you know you are beauty guru and you know makeup and you think I'm doing something wrong, um, just leave me like a 
like nice criticism of how to perfect or like you know how to better my makeup help a girl out like you know yolo you only live once like you might as well be nice to people like i don't know what of a pooter pooter rawr and just go like a little bit with this brush i'm not too sure see i'm not a beauty guru with this brush i i don't know the name of it sorry but i'm gonna go just a little bit just to deepen you know the outer corner of the eye they kind of look even but i mean just like the eyebrows like the eyes are sisters and not twins so it's okay even some twins don't even look alike like like 100 percent so um nothing in this world is exactly the same now with my real techniques base shadow brush i'm going to kind of looks like it looks like this it's not clean either so i'm gonna go in with the color hunts which is this one right right here oh don't look at my nails guys ever since that party link in the description if you want to see that party like how i broke my nails my nails have just been going downhill ever since. Like they keep cracking and then they just keep like, it's it's ugly, it's so ugly. Like I like having like longish nails, but yeah, I'm not gonna talk about my nails any longer. So I'm going to put that, this color right here on my, the eyelid part. And I'm hoping that it doesn't go that bad. Let's, let's see. is literally like turkey on an eye <laughs> like this is fall in an eyeshadow like look I'm so sorry I get excited over like the smallest things oh my god I kind of miss that I kind of miss that oh no it's okay I can fix it I'm a beauty guru again nothing is the same <laughs> okay and I'm just going to take my deluxe crease 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 my crease brush again and i'm just going to gently blend it all together because i want to make it look kind of like that sunset you know fall like you know vibe or whatever there are the oz so now that it's mostly blended out literally it's just your typical flat brush i don't know the name of or the company that i bought it from now i'm just going to go back in with solstice oh okay oh my god I'm gonna go in with fishy. I just, I love Antonio so much, okay. Oh, I never told y'all what to do because I'm getting solstice, the color solstice, and I'm just putting it under my um, eyebrow to kind of like clean it up and like, you know, make the eyeshadow color like not, you know, go all the way up and like actually like, you know, separate like oil and water. So, um, yeah, that's what I'm doing right now. After the eyes are done, my contour brush, this one is from Sephora and I believe it's literally called the contour brush. I'm gonna go back in with my Tarte palette, go in with the color Desert, and then just start going into my cheeks. That was a little bit too harsh, I think, but we can blend that out, we can fix that. I hope. I'm just gonna go all over my um the contour parts of my face i need my chin to be super chiseled because i have that two chin going on oh my god this one is like super super like look i went ham on this one i'm gonna have to go ham on that one like i can't just like go ham on one cheek and then not on the other one so let's hope right I can blend it out. I can so blend it out, I swear. If not, then I'll just say, you know what? It's still Halloween for me, so. But I'm gonna bring that down because I wanna create the illusion like there's shadow and like I actually have a chin. Like Okay, we're not here to talk about my insecurities. We're actually here to hide my insecurities. <laughs> and then, okay, this is a big no-no. Okay, I'm gonna go back in with this little eyeshadow brush and I'm gonna dip it into desert. And actually, terracotta. 
this one the, the lighter one the lighter brown I'm gonna like contour my nose because mm, like sister James says we liked a snatched nose don't really know how to contour my nose I kind of just like do it and then I pray and hope that it looks kind of natural but none of this will look natural like I, I have a face full of like powder I'm just gonna like blend it out a little bit more so it won't be that hard I was super ham with the contour Oh well. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with my powder brush, which is a big fluffy brush, and I'm gonna start blending everything, take away the banana powder, everything. The fluffy brush, honestly, is like my lifesaver. There we go, that's not that harsh anymore. Now after all the powder's gone and my face looks better-ish, I'm going to go in with Blush. I'm gonna take this little like it's supposed to be a contour brush a little angled one but I like to use it for blush so and I'm going in with my NARS orgasm and it hits it's hit the pan so I love this stuff oh my god my allergies oh my god I love allergies my chin just a little bit my forehead just a little bit. I'm going to go in with my Evian facial spray because I learned this from James actually that he likes to spray his face all over like this. And, you know we are powdered up but we still want that highlight effect. We need to you know just like dampen her face a little bit. Whenever I don't powder my face like on like not extravagant makeup days I literally just like to go with the Laura Mercier and just like tap it all over with big fluffy brush. If you guys want me to do a video of like my everyday, like my everyday lazy makeup, because I do this kind of like every day, because I do work and I go out and like take Snapchats and you know Instagram pictures, then let me know. I can do one for you guys. Next I'm going to go in with this setting, is it setting? setting brush from Real Techniques. I'm not going to use it to set because we already did set but i'm gonna go in with my laura mercier in the color matte radiance baked powder it's highlight like literally it's fine look at this effect i'm gonna bring it up a little bit to my temple just put it all over the I love highlight. Okay, I'm gonna go a little bit on my nose, you know, to give them the illusion that my nose is smaller <laughs> than it actually is. I'm gonna go a little bit like over, you know, my lip bow thing. I don't know. I'm gonna go a little bit over my my eyebrows. I'm gonna go back in with this little brush and with a Jaclyn Hill palette. And what I used for the crease, I'm gonna use it under the eye. So I'm gonna go back in with this color. There you go. Back in with my, my, I was gonna say fluffy brush. Back in with my flat brush, I'm gonna go in with the highlighter. Dip it in there. Put a little bit of it on right there. On my brow bone. And a little bit in the inner corner of my eyes. Because it is a very matte look, the matte eyeshadow look. To curl my eyelashes with the Sephora eyelash curler, curl my eyelashes and then put on the voluminous million lashes because I don't have falsies on, like fake lashes, fake lashes on because one, I don't know how to put them on. Two, um, I think I have really long eyelashes so it just doesn't work. And three, I just, I don't know how to put them on. <laughs> Like I've tried and then I just, I fail. So if um, anybody wants to hang out and <laughs> help me learn how to put on eyelashes, let me know. I feel so left out cause like all these people are like wearing eyelashes and I'm just over here like, I just have mascara. <laughs> oh, I got it on my eye, on my eyelid. It's okay. Okay, if you get it on your eyelid, it's fine. Do not panic. I literally keep all of my little cotton thingies in a little box. 
and I'm just gonna go over it. And it's gone, just like that. Do you guys see how long my eyelashes are? Like, yeah, it's hard for me to find um fake lashes. And I want some because I feel like it'd make them look like more like, you know? Last thing, well, the second to last thing, the third to last thing, I'm gonna put some more chapstick on. I'm gonna go in with the Kylie Jenner Velvet Liquid Lipstick. Velvet Liquid Lipstick. Oh my God, why was that so hard? In the color Commando. It's like literally the perfect nude. I'll put that over my lips. Okay, I think that, I think that looks fine. I think that's fine. The last step is putting on my Urban Decay D-Slick Makeup Setting Spray Oil Control because again, I am oily and I've tried to fix that problem, but again, I nobody knows how to help me and I don't know how to help myself, so I'm just, it looks nice for like the first two hours and then after that, I'm a mess, so. So, there you go. That's my fall makeup tutorial, my fall look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I enjoyed making this video for you guys. And let me know if you actually use this tutorial. I'd be super interested to find out if you do. Before I go, I have a couple announcements that I want to make. So I have officially decided that I'm gonna post at least one video the whole during the whole week. And it's going to be Sundays at 4 p.m. So every single Sunday at 4 p.m., make sure that you don't miss my video. I will be posting it at 4. And yeah, like, and then I think I'm going to be posting on Thursday around 4 p.m. as well. But Thursday is not too, too sure. So don't, it's going to be Sundays for sure. But Thursday is kind of like, a, I really don't quite know yet if it's gonna be real for real or not so make sure to you subscribe so you don't miss another video um, if you want to check out and see how I broke my nails I will leave the link in the description down below also turn on the post notification bell like you know because I, I post and you know just on on Thursdays you want to know for sure like you know if I post or not so don't forget to follow me on social media because I think I'm funnier on social media. I don't know. Follow me on Snapchat. It's DelaneyL21. Follow me at Twitter. It's DelaneyL. On Instagram, it's Delizzle with three Zs. Like if you like the video. Share with your friends. And I think that's it. All right. I hope you liked this video. And I will see your lovely faces next week for sure on Sunday at 4 p.m. Don't miss it, okay? All right, I love you guys, and I'll see you soon. All right, bye.